we're doing a what I eat in a week video. We're doing a what I eat in a week video. It's taken me a long time to commit to this, primarily because it just takes so much energy to film every single thing that goes into your mouth and like to film yourself cooking it and all that stuff. So this is so good. I think it's very, very important for you guys to see a holistic view of this process. This is something that I didn't get to do last time. Once I started sharing my weight loss journey two years ago when I first lost a lot of weight, I showed you guys pretty much how I ate once I had lost weight, not the process leading up to that point. So the cheat days, restrictive days, the normal days, you guys are just gonna see it all. Yay! Such a sweet girl. Just... Alright guys, so I have my smoothie here. I'm almost done with it. Um, but I did want to come on here real quick and talk to you guys because I haven't talked to you guys in a minute. I'm about to go to Pilates. I decided to sign up for a Pilates class because I'm crazy. Even though I already worked out today, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna move to sweat and the gym that I go to has heated Pilates. So I was like, let me go and get a good sweat on before dinner. I already seasoned our chicken, put it in the fridge for it to like marinate a little bit for a couple of hours. I went to HEB today and Look what I found! Dairy Free Whipping Cream by the brand Silk. So this is an alternative to regular whipping cream and I'm making mashed potatoes tonight with some chicken. This is a game changer! At HEB I also got these cute little bowls though, look at them! They're so cute! Little ASMR. I'm gonna be making some baked oats tomorrow possibly either tomorrow or Thursday. But these are so cute and they're so tiny and they're called little mini porcelain butt forms. It's five o'clock, class is at 5.30, so I actually need to leave right now because there's gonna be bad traffic right now. I'm excited and I'll bring you guys with me, then we'll come back, I might take me on a W-A-L-K and then make dinner. dinner right Mila we just finished our dinner this is how much I had left Mila's waiting for it she wants it I only had a little bit of my chicken left and a little bit of asparagus left and I pretty much finished the whole thing which I'm so proud of myself because sometimes I just don't have an appetite I can never finish my food but I'm trying harder to finish my foods every time I eat so I'm trying to lose weight and gain muscle at the same time so it's really important for me to make sure I'm eating as much protein. So those mashed potatoes 
with the silk dairy free heavy whipping cream were kind of different. I think I put too much in it, honestly. I was like tasting it. it kind of tastes like vanilla -y or something. It had like a hint of sweetness. Really weird. And like I say all the time, this is the hardest part of the day is cutting yourself off. It's 8.48. I'm done eating for the night. I'm gonna watch some Bridgerton. Once you start seeing progress, guys, like it's so hard for you not to keep it going. I love it for me, I love it for me. Mila is like eyeing this chicken. Let me just go ahead and give it to her. And I guess I will see you guys in the morning. Love you. So it has been quite the day. Time has just flown by. I am dressed up now. I did my makeup. Michael and I are going to go on a little date night. It is our one month married anniversary. One month anniversary of us being married, which is super exciting. So we are going to go get some dinner tonight and just kind of like, you know, eat whatever. All I had today was that yogurt parfait, the dairy free yogurt. And I ate some toast with some peanut butter, so I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna eat really good tonight. I think we're just gonna go to the Grove tonight. We had reservations at this one place, but I don't think we're gonna go there because we only got reservations for the bar and they said that they couldn't see us in a table or at a table and we didn't wanna sit at the bar. We wanted to sit somewhere nicer because it is our anniversary. So yeah, I'm wearing this Princess Polly I'm dressed. I just posted my video with them in the last video. This is the Cottage Hill mini dress in baby blue. I love this dress so much. I feel so girly in it and just so cute, so. And yeah, Michael's about to be here. I think he's coming through the door, so uh, let's go. Maybe I should start in this. Live my life, how it fits me best. Start for the ones who cannot comprehend. <laughs> Weird thing just happened tonight. So on our way to our car after eating at the Grove, we're just walking, we come across a phone. Well, actually Michael saw the phone on the floor. Michael picks up said phone. He's like, oh, I guess someone dropped their phone, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay. One thing about me is I watch a lot of true crime. So immediately, red flags. Red flags are going off my head, I'm like, babe, it's dark, one, we're in a dark area, you're picking up someone random's phone, like, this is a setup. Like, in my mind, I'm like, this is a setup. <laughs> we're about to get robbed, we're about to get set up or something like that. We grab the phone anyway, and we get into the car, and like, we could see on the phone that someone had just called the person like literally two minutes, or like literally a minute before we had picked up the phone. We're waiting for someone else to call because the phone's locked, and we technically can't unlock the phone because it's someone else's phone. We're not gonna come home with someone's phone, one, because like find my iPhone, tracking, all that weird stuff. Watch too much true crime, guys. I watch too much true crime. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Michael comes up with the brilliant idea to use Siri and he's like looking through the person's contacts and he sees someone random's name in the contact and he's like, call, blah, blah, blah. Smart, very smart of him. So then the phone starts calling that person. The person picks up, but he's like, yeah, like we're from Houston. This guy was out there yesterday in Austin, but we haven't heard from him. I'm like, this is a setup. <laughs> the guy's like, give me your information. Maybe you guys can mail us the phone, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, Michael gives him this guy the information, his information. So he's like, we can mail it to you. We're driving around and someone else calls through Facebook Messenger. Everyone's just telling us not to drop the phone off, which is weird. Long story short, we stop at Whole Foods, which is like literally around the corner. Michael gets off to go drop the phone off at Whole Foods, and as he's dropping off the phone, someone calls again, and it's a girl, and she's like, basically this guy's been missing for two days, and they don't know where he is. They're from Houston, and he came out to Austin like on Monday. It's Wednesday. 
and they haven't heard from him since then. Sketch, man, so sketchy. So Michael left the phone at Whole Foods and gave them the information that they needed to have and that's where we left it. Really sketchy, right? Really sketchy. I didn't want to pick up the phone. You know when people talk about like if there's something on your car, walking to your car late at night, don't go and grab the thing because it could be someone like creeping around the corner. That's how I felt in that moment. I was like, uh, 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 uh. and now I'm going to be thinking about this for the next 24 hours. <laughs> Today is eight o'clock and I'm about to make dinner. However, I've just not been in the best of moods today. I've just been in a mood like I'm just, I don't know, it's just been a lot today and I try not to come on my channel when I'm in moods like this because I like my channel to be super positive and just a happy place. With weekly vlogs, it's just kind of hard to avoid the ups and the downs of the week because we all, go through just weird lulls throughout the week and I'm definitely going through that right now I'm just like today has just not been a good day and I honestly cannot wait to go to bed <laughs> like earlier I did make some guacamole I love guacamole as a good snack I didn't record breakfast primarily because I just ate oatmeal this morning but like I have not been in a super hungry mood today I just have not had much of an appetite today, so I had some oatmeal, I had some guacamole, and that's it. I've been staring at a computer screen like all day, and I think it's just like tiring me out, tiring my eyes out and stuff, but. Today I did not eat enough though. I need to make sure that I'm trying to at least get three meals in a day, or three things in a day. It doesn't have to be full meals, but like guacamole is not enough. We're just gonna wake up tomorrow, and it's gonna be a better day. We're gonna feel better. We're going to do whatever we can to make ourselves feel better wear makeup, do my hair, go work out. I'm not missing my workout. Anyway, I've talked to that. I've talked to that. Talked so much. <laughs> This looks so good. Okay, taste testing. I'm not sure if it's completely ready. It just tastes like a blueberry muffin. I can definitely taste the oats. I'm not liking this. <laughs> I think it needs a little bit more like sweetener or something. It just tastes bland, like. Why did my phone just go off? So I brought some peanut butter over because peanut butter saves everything. Peanut butter to save the day. I was gonna make it with peanut butter, like actual peanut butter. I think that would have made the taste a little bit better actually. Let me just get a moment. This is a one out of one out of everything. This sucks. <laughs> Thank God I have lunch plans. <laughs> I have lunch plans with my friend Ariana today. And I thought this would be a great little breakfast pre-lunch snack. You've made baked oats. Tell me what your secret is, because this is not good. Like the peanut butter made it a little bit better, so maybe I should have put like actual peanut butter and not PB2 in, because I used the powdered peanut butter. But maybe I should have bought some like vanilla extract. I'm going with my friend Ariana to happy hour. We're gonna go to this place called Raw Sushi. I thought I'd show you guys what I'm wearing, because it's super cute, but cash. So, this is what I'm wearing. I don't know if I love this. 
but um, these jeans are from American Eagle or Abercrombie. No, these jeans are from Abercrombie. This top is from Aritzia. I love it, super cute. It's just one of their like ribbed tops and I'm wearing like my Be Still necklace and some shoes from Target. I don't know if I love this fit, but I think it's cute. It's cute for a little happy hour. So yesterday I didn't eat dinner. I was in the weirdest mood yesterday, I don't know what it was, but like sometimes I'm just not in a good mood, guys. And I know all of us can relate, like I don't even have to explain myself. So I ended up not even eating dinner. I, once Michael got home, we just plopped on the couch and watched Stranger Things. I felt bad for not eating, but like I just wasn't hungry. I just was not feeling great, and I just wanted to just like lay down. I wasn't hungry, I wasn't starving or anything like that. Like I should have eaten, but I didn't. So yeah, but I'm eating today. Just ate these failed baked oats and now I'm gonna go get some sushi with Ariana. Tomorrow I have a photo shoot with one of my friends for her brand and I really want to be like, you know, but I think I'm fine. I think I'll be good. No need to stress myself out over things like that. Like, just no need to. Like, there's just no need to. This is a marathon, not a sprint and I'm taking it day by day with this weight loss. I've already lost so much weight and I should be proud of myself for that. Okay, this is the lip gloss I wear. It's just like an elf. It's just like an e.l.f. lip gloss that I got from like Target. It's a lip plumping gloss, so it has that like tingling feel. One thing about weight loss that is just crazy is that you will never be happy. And I've noticed that with both of my journeys, like the first time I went on this journey, like I constantly felt like I needed to do more even when I was at my leanest, even when I was like at 123 pounds, which is so small. Guys, I used to be really tiny, like a little bit over a year ago. Even then, I was not happy. Mila, <laughs> I was not even happy back then. And it's just crazy because like, with weight loss, you're just never happy. And that's why I'm just kind of like, trying to get out of this mindset. I'm never gonna be happy with my body. Even if I lose 15 pounds, even if I lose 20 pounds, even if I'm at 30 pounds, I won't be happy. I will want to change something. So it's just about making yourself happy. Just be happy, live your life, do the things you wanna do because if you're just chasing a number, it's not going to bring you fulfillment. So just a little tea for you guys because it's just how I feel. being out like literally all night like we will we met up at like four and like we ended up coming home until like past midnight <laughs> it was a good time <laughs> it was fun we had a good time we was much needed michael them ended up meeting us out and he ended up driving us home <laughs> which was so sweet of him it was fun it was a good time and he did that it was funny and then today i woke up I've been a bad vlogger. Today I woke up and I had a photo shoot with one of my friends for her brand and it was so much fun and I wish I vlogged. I just was running so behind that I just could not even pick up my camera or anything like that to take it with me so my camera stayed here. It's been quite the weekend so far and I think like tomorrow we're planning to go float the river. So I might just like continue the vlog tomorrow. After the photo shoot, I was obviously starving, so I'm going to make myself some avocado toast. I'm just really hungry. And then tonight I was thinking about making some like honey garlic salmon. What you guys think about that? It sounds really, really good. I have honey, I have garlic. <laughs> so like a honey glazed salmon. Sounds good, right? The flavors slap. This fits in the bad bitch genre. 
I'm tired of myself. I'm actually so tired of myself. Goodbye. <laughs> Honey, garlic, salmon that I made last night. You have to try it. And I'm gonna link it down below. I'm gonna put the recipe that I used down below. It was super simple. I just used like honey and garlic, obviously. I used coconut and minos instead of soy sauce. And I used some lemon and it was just so good. It was so, so good. And I'm gonna be making that with my chicken too. I'm getting ready. I got a couple of questions about my makeup routine. Just a few. So I'm just gonna like walk you guys through it really fast. I'm not gonna do a whole makeup routine, but I use Revolution Makeup or Makeup Revolution Brow product. I get these from H-E-B. They're only like $6 and I buy like a whole bunch of them at one time. We were supposed to go to the river today and that got canceled just because the weather is so iffy today. Like the sun's kind of coming out. But like earlier was not and like I don't know we're just kind of annoyed about that because we bought all of this alcohol all of this food we bought our tubes last night for the occasion and now we're just not going and now we have all this alcohol in the fridge wait anyway, my hair is pinned up I do little pins whenever I curl my hair just so uh, my curls can last throughout the day that's how like my hair looks good all day long and I haven't laid my wig yet, so don't mind that. I use the Infallible Foundation by L'Oreal. I use the color 530. It just matches me so well. And I just like put it all over. I try not to put too much on my forehead because I haven't laid my wig down and I don't want it to get too much. But like, look at that. It just like literally blends in to my skin and it's drugstore so it's no more than like $12. Okay, so I use these two concealers. This is the Rare Beauty Concealer. It is in 500 neutral, so it's kind of like a deeper color. And I just kind of use this for extra coverage under my eyes. It's not super bright. However, I use the Fenty Beauty Concealer. This is her like pro filter concealer, and I use this in through 390. And this is really light and I don't actually I'll show you guys I let that set for a little bit and then I'm gonna go in right here and right here and that's it I don't bring it super far down because I don't really like a super bright under eye so that's it it's just so subtle okay this is a non-negotiable you have to set your under eye with some type of loose powder like you have to like it, it just makes everything perfect so um, this is the pro filter instant retouch setting powder in nutmeg so I get it in the darker color it's not like that banana color I get it in like here you guys can kind of see it's like a brown so I don't even get anything super light because I don't think that's super necessary really and then I go yeah underneath my eyes like so I'm gonna look a little bit crazy okay then I like go on my smile lines. I go all the way down, I bring it here too. I bring it to my chin. I do a little bit on my forehead here. I pretty much put it almost everywhere, honestly. Every time I don't set underneath my eyes, my makeup looks crusty. And this is like a brow gel and I just kind of like go over my brows to just make them like pop a little bit. I don't know what it is about this stuff, but it just does the job. So I like to brush my brows up like that. Then I go to my eyes. So I like to use, go back to like my foundation powder. It's like just a pressed powder in 450. 
I don't do much with my eyes guys but I always since I have like really dark eyes you can see like my eyes are darker I always 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 neutralize that by a powder and you can do you know sometimes I'll put concealer first and then set the concealer with this but a lot of times I don't I just I just go in and just make this all the same color as everything else basically as my skin and i think that's really important to like just a flawless like base you can just already see the difference between this eye and this eye so then i'm going to do some eyeliner i use a fly liner and i'm gonna do i'm gonna brush this off and then powder up i love doing blush i do the mac raisin blush I'm gonna wear some lashes and then we'll talk at the end. Eh. All right, this is my final look. I put on some lashes. I like just dusted off my powder, wore some blush, and did some under eye eyeliner. I used the Kiss Jubilee, Kiss Jubilee lashes. They look really great. I just need some like something on my lips and then we're gonna be ready to go. So today I'm just gonna do Terry Mugler, Terry Mugler Angel. That's all I'm doing. I'm wearing this cute little like dress. It's like a little, it has a little like, it has like a little halter moment, which I need to wear some lotion on my back. But um, super cute. It's just like a halter dress. And I got this from Cotton On, I wanna say. It's like super cheap. It was super cheap and it's really see-through, honestly. It's not the greatest, but yeah. It's not the best quality for sure. It's like definitely see-through. You can kind of see like my bra. But anyway, I don't care. And yeah, guys, that's it. We're gonna go out. Um, but this is my What I Eat in a Week video. It had its ups, it had its downs, but this is essentially how a full week looks for me when I'm in the process of losing weight while still being social, while still going out, while still having fun, and all that good stuff. So yeah, it is still possible. It takes a lot of discipline, it takes a lot of restricting, it takes a lot of like, coming back into healthy routines after a day of fun but i think over time you just get used to it and like you learn that like you know this is what you want and if you want to lose weight you're gonna have to sacrifice certain things i have not been to chick-fil-a i did not go anywhere for fast food i did not eat any fast food this week but i also did go have fun i went out to eat with hubby i got drinks and stuff like that but like you just have to sacrifice certain things if you notice i did not eat any sugar either so I like still being able to have a social life while losing weight. I think that's a good, that's a good trade. Not, you know, eating candy and not eating like baked goods and stuff, but still being able to go out and drink and still being able to go out to eat. I think that's, I think it's great. So yeah, I'm going to be really strict tomorrow though. It's going to be a very strict day for me tomorrow because we're going to go out to eat today. Today is just going to be a relaxed day. I had a video go up and I've been productive and yeah, so that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you for joining me this week. This was fun. I might do more weekly vlogs like this because I actually liked it. <laughs> Not that I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I actually like really enjoyed bringing you guys along with me today. So we might do this again soon. Let me know if you wanna see it again soon. All right guys, this will go up on Wednesday. So I hope you guys have an amazing week and yeah, love you guys so much. Bye. <laughs>